grey, rainy, wet. Yes, it's time for today's weather forecast as a lot of clouds descend from a higher altitude to a lower altitude. Technically, this means that it's going to be a bit chilly and we need to wear jumpers because it's the day of the annual Brokant in Iguhan and we're not going to let this weather stop us. And to make it even more exciting, Tatinette's coming with us. Good morning! Good morning! Uh, good, morning. Good, morning. Good. good morning! Good! Excited about the Brokant, you look beautiful. Thank you! As always. <laughs> yes, I'm excited about the Brokant. Yeah, yes. this morning it was full of people already in Iguhan. Oh, did you yes. see it on your way here? The cars were there parking. So oh, wow. I think it's going to be big. So the weather's not stopping anyone? No. <laughs> I told the guests already as well, if you wanted to go. Every time I'm here for the Egoran Brokan, it's raining. Uh, Last time it was you. with Michael's mother, and we were absolutely soaked. We still managed to get some. Don't worry, there. look. We were we're ready, Tati Nat. Oh. See you later, <laughs> Natty. <laughs> Who knows what treasures we might find today, in spite of the weather. Look at that interior. What a lovely idea to fill it with beautiful chintz. Is it material or is it... Uh, it's material, yes. Oh, yes, it is. Not quite as practical as my suitcase with wheels. Do that for you in your... She did upstairs. Yeah, and it's so pretty. And we keep all of the letters in it. That's it. That's it. Oh, a lobster. Very nice lobster. <laughs> when you have some fish, fish meat. <gasps> Valentine's Day. Oh, that would be hilarious for Valentine's Day. I actually quite like that one. It's so bad, it's good. This and uh, Barbara Kaplan. Uh, yes, exactly. Yeah. I'm thinking of Barbara Kaplan <laughs> meal. Quite lovely things, actually, quite fun. I might ask how much the uh, Valentine's Day one is. Oh, very nice, aren't they? Uh, what would Philip say? <laughs> <laughs> My love says it all. <laughs> the tablecloth and the napkins is uh, 10 euros for the lot. We don't know how big it is, so we're trying to work it out. I mean, it won't fit our entire table, but maybe over a white one. Two meters fifty. Voilà. Par quatre. On y arrivera. Voilà. I see something about luggage today. Just look at the little compartments and everything in it. Quite cool frames as well, aren't they? Very over the top in an excellent way. Yes. There aren't enough over the top things yeah. in this world. It's a really pretty scarf and bag, oh, bag. together. Yeah. Very, very nice. Philip's left us. He suddenly remembered that Marie needs to go to Chateau. So they're rushing there now to get the flowers, and Tonton Stephen's going to pick us up later. That's right, yes. But oh my goodness. Okay, we have to go to this store. I've got a lot of exciting things to tell you about here. I have brought you all to this very, very exciting stand because here are all of the books by a local woman called Janine Berduca. And it's this book in particular that interests me. This was a local private school in the 19th century. And their chapel, this chapel here, was based on the same design of the Chapel of St. Joseph at La Lande. Bonjour. Bonjour. Vous allez bien? Ça va bien. Oui, je suis ravie de vous voir. Ben oui, moi aussi. Hein? Oui, parce que c'est à cause de vous que j'ai découvert cette chapelle ben à oui. Lourdes Saint-Michel. Oui, voilà. C'est voilà. comme ça que je me suis permis, comme on s'était vu pour l'article sur les chambres d'eau, oui. tout ça, j'ai dit, il faut que je lui dise euh, que cette chapelle est semblable à celle de votre château de La Lande. Et oui, et alors c'était les plans qu'on donnait le marquis de Nadayac. Voilà, le marquis de Nadayac, il a même donné du financement pour ce collège 
à plusieurs reprises. Il faisait partie, d'ailleurs, il était toujours à la distribution des prix de ce collège en fin d'année. Oui. Et c'était un, un membre d'honneur euh, de ce collège de l'Ouroué. Et je crois que ses enfants, certains de ses enfants ont été élèves dans ce collège. Oh, mais c'est incroyable. Alors, je veux à tout prix le visiter. <rire> mais euh, c'est à cause de vous que je sais qu'il y avait des décors peints auparavant dans ce co collège. Euh, proches de ceux qui sont à la lande et, et qui sont pour la plupart perdus maintenant. Ben oui, bien sûr, c'est dommage. Mais oui. ce collège était très réputé et il était tenu par des prêtres et il a eu euh, vraiment des, des très bons élèves qui sont sortis. Bon, c'était très euh, rigide comme éducation. Ah oui, j'imagine. <rire> mais c'était quelque chose qui a eu un, un impact sur toute la France. Il y avait des gens qui venaient euh, de Paris, de, de différentes régions dans ce collège. Je ne le savais pas, alors je fais une grande découverte. Merci beaucoup. Je vais absolument prendre le livre et, et lire tout ça et cette région du coin qui a tellement de liens avec le château de la Lande. Tout à fait, tout à fait. Merci beaucoup. Je vous en prie. <rire> Au revoir. Au revoir. Now, I'm going to take you all into the church in Igurand. It's a very, very beautiful church, but even more importantly, I'm taking you there because the architect and the paint restorers who are going to be working on the Chapel of Lalande are the ones who are restoring this church at the moment. They work all over France. And in fact, the painting restorers are currently working in Notre Dame in Paris, restoring the damaged cathedral. They've also worked in the Chateau of Versailles, so we're in the best hands. But here we get to see an example of their work. This is the Church of Notre Dame in Igurand, and it dates from the 11th century. The first recorded mention of it is in 1087. So we are standing in a church that is nearly 1000 years old. Throughout the centuries, it was added onto and embellished. In the 14th century, the beautiful Gothic vaulting was added. The bell tower was also added in the 16th century, and if we're lucky, we might get to hear the oldest bell ring later. It dates from 1584. And in the 14th and 18th century, the six side chapels were added. In the 19th century, many of those side chapels were painted and decorated with the most beautiful painted decoration, which sadly, like the paintings at La Lande, are being lost. They're in terrible state. You can see the damp that's affected them at the base. If nothing's done, they won't be here in a hundred years' time.
As you can see, the first side chapel has been closed for work. This is the Chapel of Our Lady of Pity. This is the next one to be done by the team of the architect, builders and painters who will be working on the Chapel of St. Joseph at Lalande. And you can see just a little glimpse of what a bad state the paintwork is in. The ceiling is very reminiscent of Lalande. But if we go to the other end of the church, we can see the very furthest of the chapels, which is the Chapel of St. Joseph. And it's the first one that they have restored. In fact, on the plan of the church, which I have here, it says, note the Chapel of St. Joseph is closed to the public. But not anymore, the work is finished. It's now open to the public and we can go and have a look at it. It's splendid. I dream of seeing Leland restored like this one day. And they've also restored the side chapel, Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, which is a much simpler chapel, much simpler painted decoration. But you can see now, finally, it's perfect. And it's going to last for a few more generations until work needs to be done again. So it's saved for the future. It's quite uplifting, isn't it, it is. to see it, it being is. restored? It is. It's so much warmer. It's, and the feeling is absolutely gorgeous to see it actually completely restored. And to feel that after a thousand years, it's the church isn't there. forgotten. It's still there. And it, be, it can be enjoyed by everybody again and look so beautiful. Seeing the photo... The, yes. of the chapel that was lost with the paintings yes. that were lost. Heartbreaking. No, I can't, I can't let that happen at Leland. Heartbreaking. Especially when you see what you can do with you again. Yeah, so we well, carry on at Lalande. We're on the right carry path. On, carry on Lalande. Do you think that's the oldest bell? There's four bells. I have no idea if it's the oldest, but I'm going to imagine that that's the 1584 bell. Do you remember when we did the second year, the, ball, the masked ball? Masked ball. We stayed in that hotel. Oh, because there weren't any rooms renovated yes, in the chateau. Yes. There was no room in the yes. chateau. <laughs> and we stayed here, very old-fashioned. It was very delightful. Very nice. yeah. I've just bumped into Hello. our lovely guests. Hello. 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 Very good to see you. And oh, Cosette. Oh. The beautiful Say Cosette. Say hello to the world. No. Oh, oh, no, 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 we don't get close. No, no. <laughs> not, not too much, not too much, you know. She's naughty, is she? Yeah. A lot of personality. 
Un peu méchant. And yet she looks so angelic. <laughs> Did you find any treasures? Yes. yes. What you have you see. found? Really? A piece of young. The 18th. Oh, a legumier. Yes. A vegetable bowl, I think it's called, with a lid. Gorgeous. 18th century, yeah. 18th century, yeah. Oh, well yes. done. Yeah. And do you have anything? He is well. He's collecting oh. this sort of Chinese boxes, oh, or Japanese yes. boxes. I want to talk about this. So I found his that little one, so. Well, you've done a lot better than us. I got a 1970s tablecloth. <laughs> but there's not so much. Yeah, no, no, not, not really much. So but much. you've done well. Well, yes. You know, oh. on the floor. Oh, Come she on, does don't not be a like circus. being on the ground. Don't stop. Don't no. Circus. No, walking is not fun, is it? No. No, not really. <laughs> not in I, this weather. No, not really. Oh, well, I will carry on and I'll see you both this evening for dinner. Yes. Look sure. forward to it. Okay. <laughs> Look who we have found! Your carriage away. A carriage to save us from the cold! Oh, in the van. It was getting a bit cold. Is this our beautiful carriage? Oh, it's magnificent. Yes, yes. Cinderella, you shall go to the ball. <laughs> Maria, are these all from the garden? Yep. I did not know we had this many different varieties. And some of them are huge. What are you doing with them? Uh, you will find out at the table. You always. never let me know in advance. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I do want to show everyone else the fact that the lemons that you have, which are definitely not from the garden, I just looked at them earlier when I came through and I just thought it was so beautiful with all the little water droplets on. That's all I have to say about the lemons. I just thought it was so pretty that I'd show you all. So I'm guessing we're having something lemony and something tomato-y. Wow. Your deduction no, I know. They call me a coup Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you think of the tablecloth? It's interesting. I mean interesting mm -hmm. it is one of the most searingly beautiful works of art in tablecloth form ever to be created mm. Mm -hmm. mm. interesting that's what i'm mm -hmm. going with it's uh the one it's so bad it's good that is kit has it, looped, has it looped round yet that's looped round i am decreeing that that's looped round i think they're quite awful you can use it can't you but in a good way I think. thank you that's what i thought really, really but that's not as exciting as this book. This is the book about the college that I was telling you about at Lourdes. Oh, oh yes, with the chapel. I know, it's amazing. I've started reading this book. It's absolutely fascinating. And when I finish reading it, I'm going to try and arrange to go to the College of Lourdes Saint Michel and to show you the chapel. So hopefully I'll be able to make a video from there in the future. Because I've noticed reading the book that they didn't lose all of the painted decoration. They lost all of it except for one section of one wall, as well as the ceiling. And that section of wall also had the painting of Saint Joseph. And we, of course, at the chapel here have a painting of the death of Saint Joseph. And there it's different. It's Saint Joseph teaching Jesus his carpentry skills. And I think that's so perfect for a college because it's Saint Joseph not so much as just a father, but as a teacher. And I just think it's so fitting. So they did manage to restore this painting just as we're starting with the death of St. Joseph. And they obviously decided that was the most important thing to save there too, along with their stunning floral ceiling. But having seen the church in Iguhan today, and then having seen the beautiful paintings that were lost on the chapel that was built on the same plans as the chapel of St. Joseph, because the Marquis de Nadeac, who was living here, donated the plans and a lot of the money to make that happen, I'm really determined that we're going to save the paint bike here. I've just found a picture of what it looked like before they restored it. I have the photo in here, the black and white photo. I've got a colour picture. No colour! No, 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 show me, show me. It's, it's beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Oh, what a shame. So it's all Magnolia now? Yes, well, except for this backside tiny bit of wall here, which has the scene of St. Joseph on it. It's a little bit like the Chapel at Lalande. I mean, it's different, but it's the same idea. The same neo-Gothic style. Yes, and it's it's incredible that they, you know, saved the building because it was yeah. not in a very good state. But it's such a shame that they lost all of the paintwork on And of the course they did. I mean, they already did an incredible job exactly. saving the chapel. Especially um, as we know how much yeah. it's going to cost to yeah. save a chapel, you know? If this is happening all over France, it is. Imagine the loss. If you look at most churches here, they're all cream. But they would never have been. And I've never realised that, you know? Yeah. It is a responsibility, but it's also quite a joy. I have to say, I never, ever thought I would get so into church architecture. 
ever. It was not something that particularly interested me. I liked going to look at beautiful churches, but the more I'm learning about it, the more fascinated I am. And I've just noticed something else, which is that they are the pews that we bought oh my for the chapel here. Yeah. I remember that when we got them, we were told that they came from a college in Lourdes Saint-Michel that had had a chapel and that they were restoring. And that's where we bought them from. And I had no idea that it is the chapel that was based on the same design of the one at Lalande. And now we've bought the pews that were in the same chapel. It's That has blown my mind. So I think we should do what they've done here and just put them against what we've only got to. So it'll have to be one against each wall. But that's an incredible piece of history to have. And that was by accident. A lot of this is making me think it is meant to be. I have it on good authority that you are not Mr. Potts tonight. Yes. You are Garçon Potts. <laughs> and this is what you need to put the bread into. Maintenant. Bread is here. Me what? Me what? What? Yeah, toi. No. Who decided that Michael was going to be serving? Uh, he kind of did himself. Right. Well, he volunteered and who am I to say no? What could possibly go wrong? Brilliant. Literally our way to just ask where dinner is. I don't know. I don't come here very often. It's in the dining room, Michael. Oh, it's a lovely night like tonight. It's actually the dining room. Do you mean do you mean the red room? No, that's not the dining room anymore. No, it's the dining room too. <laughs> this is so glorious, it has stopped me in my tracks. <sighs> No, this is just beautiful. I know you don't like having to add an extra table because it's somewhat less elegant with yeah. another one it's on the end, but yeah, actually it looks gorgeous because there's 15 of us tonight. Yes. You used to have those numbers a lot fancier because we had pets. Yes, but with a couple of rooms down, it's yeah. been quieter. But tonight my aunt and uncle are joining us, which is going to be really good fun. And of course, we have Michael Potts serving. Well, tonight's starter, we have a tomato tartare with uh, all the tomatoes that we have from the garden, all sorts of varieties. And then uh, avocado, uh, and we've got a pickled yellow zucchini roast. Amazing. Thank you, it looks so beautiful. Your main is a fig leaf roasted cod with uh, roasted fennel and a coconut, uh, dill and vanilla uh, dauphin rice. Adam and Eve cod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> very good. <laughs> um, the leaf is technically edible, but here is just a sort of decoration purposes. So treat it as a banana leaf. Let's say. Okay. Amazing. <laughs> but so, so it was roasted in between two uh, two layers of leaves just to get that fragrance. Wow. Oh, amazing. Wow. Well, this is a first. We definitely haven't had this before. And Maria did tell me the fig leaves are from the garden. <laughs> How's everything been in here? We have dessert before you. Okay. No, uh, but you don't get it in a lemon. That's the only difference, is it? Wow. Well, yeah. I've got my <laughs> raspberries. <laughs> <laughs> I get it in chocolate form. <laughs> the raspberries towards you. Oh, you oh this is that. precise. Yeah. So we have a lemon posset dessert with uh, lemon curd and raspberries and mint for the garden. It's just like a chocolate. Actually, we have one that does that. He tries to contain himself in public, but when ice cream comes towards him, he goes. Mm. <laughs> Occasionally, no, but not. <laughs> thank you for joining us for another day of Land Life. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of the patrons of the Chateau Diaries who are enabling us to restore the chapel of Saint Joseph at Lalande and today I'd like to say a special thank you to the Dauphins and Dauphines of Lalande, April Westervelt, Linda Beast, Amy Wilder, Christine Wilson and Ashley Wolf. Thank you so much for your support of the Chateau Diaries and lots of love to everyone watching. Can't wait to see you all next time. <laughs>